Meanwhile, the father of American Israeli hostage Idan Alexander spoke today in Central Park, calling for the release of the hostages still being held by Hamas. They were taken 421 days ago and counting, but yesterday Hamas released a proof of life video of Alexander. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Richardson. They gathered in Central Park as they have nearly every Sunday since October 7th, but this time the crowd was larger than usual. Everyone rallying around Adi Alexander. Saturday, Hamas released this video of his 20 year old son, Idan. My name is Idan Alexander. Adi tells me seeing the footage, while exciting, was extremely disturbing. That's the uh, first time we saw Idan uh, in a year. We had some signs of life. Adi says it's clear from the video, every day in captivity is an eternity of suffering, both physically and emotionally. No father should hear his child plead for his life like that. A dual citizen, Edan grew up in New Jersey and after graduating from Tenafly High School, joined the IDF. Adi says his son loves both countries and strongly believes in protecting Israel. We were very proud of this decision, but uh, found himself in, a, in the wrong place in the wrong time. At his post near the Gaza Strip. It's been more than 420 days. Officials believe 101 hostages are still in Gaza. Adi addressed President elect Trump saying he doesn't have to wait until January to make a difference, while telling President Biden the tools and influence of the U.S. are at his fingertips, reminding Prime Minister Netanyahu the fate of the hostages rests in his hands. Many are hoping the recent ceasefire agreement between Israel and Hezbollah will lay the groundwork for the release of their loved ones. This is a moment of courage, collaboration, and decisive actions. Adi urged all involved not to let politics stand in the way of humanity, sending his son this message. You, you stay strong, survive, and we're coming for you. Kimberly Richardson, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.